rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. What is good Battlefielders? This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. Now today I'm going to be doing a stat breakdown of the DMRs in Battlefield 4. Now if you didn't know, DMR stands for Designated Marksman Rifles. These are quite different from your traditional sniper rifles that are bolt action. These are all semi-automatic and they have a slow yet much faster rate of fire than a traditional sniper rifle. Then again, they are much slower than assault rifles, even burst weapons like the AN-94 or the M16. So you really, you really have to consider them as a different weapon. They are not sniper rifles and they are not assault rifles. They are their own category. And that brings us to another good point, their own category. In Battlefield 3, the DMRs were split between the sniper rifles as only being equipable by the recon class, yet in Battlefield 4, the DMRs can be used by any class. Now this is very important. Any kit, whether you're assault, engineer, support, or recon, can use these weapons, which makes them, let's face it, much more versatile than they were in Battlefield 3. And now with the field upgrades, you have the choice to choose your path of specializations to really suit your needs. You're no longer stuck to the recon playstyle. You can use other classes and obviously you can use other gadgets to enhance your gameplay, which makes this a really sneaky gun, which makes a lot of opportunities possible. Alright, moving on to the stats themselves, you can see on the screen there are two graphics on display. The background image is just the weapon selection screen, nothing fancy about that. And the white, what is the white? Well, this is just a document I made to compare all of the stats side by side so you can actually see what they look like instead of going through them all. These are not my opinions, they are not made up numbers. These are taken directly from the dice numbers that we get there. If a bar was halfway in the middle, obviously that's going to be 5 out of 10. If it was just one click past that, it was likely 6 out of 10. Although sometimes there are a few numbers that I could compare and they are obviously in the middle between numbers. So I gave a few 0.5s here and there. But for the most part, I think these are very, very accurate. But I will be waiting for the official numbers from Synthec.com because that site is completely awesome. They use actual game data files to confirm weapon stats and a whole bunch of other stats. So go check out their site once the game releases and you will not regret it. So looking at the chart itself, you may be wondering how I organized it. Well, I put the most accurate weapons on the left and the least accurate weapons on the right. Now this is still unconfirmed and one of the most important factors, the rate of fire we're still not sure about. But it's most likely that the ones on the left are the slowest firing and the ones on the right are the highest firing weapons. And yeah, I really should repeat myself. These stats will tell you a pretty good picture of how the weapons perform, but there are two stats that we are not sure of that we cannot find out until the game releases. Even with the beta, everything that you do is just going to be based on your eye and your own judgment. But until the actual game releases and we get official data from Synthec.com, basically you are not going to know how fast these guns fire and how quickly they reload, which both play very important roles on how well the gun performs. So take that in mind when you're considering these guns. If you don't know the rate of fire especially, that plays a huge factor in how well you're going to do with the gun. But as you can see, the first three weapons perform almost identical. The SVD, the M39, and the MK11 all have 6 damage, 7.5 accuracy, 3 mobility or hip accuracy, 6 range, 3 handling or recoil, and yet the two guns, M39 and MK11, have 20 rounds, whereas the SVD only has 15. Right now, that is the only difference that we can tell, but obviously, if the SVD has a slower or faster rate of fire, that may affect things. If it has a better reload time, that may affect things. But as of now, there would seem to be no point in using the SVD over the other two since all the other stats are identical. Fourth on my list is the RFB, which is very similar to the M39 and MK11. The only difference is that it has 0.5 less accuracy than those two guns. Now this is not based on my gut feeling. I did compare the videos side by side. I checked them, I went back, and it had a half a click less than the other two guns. So that's why I gave it a 7. Next up is the QBU, which performs slightly differently from the four before it. However, I'm going to categorize these first five, including the QBU, as traditional DMRs. The reason that I say traditional is that these first five perform more likely to what we expect from a designated marksman rifle, and as well, four of them are returning from Battlefield 3, so we can confirm their stats in Battlefield 3 that they are among the slowest firing weapons of the DMR class, not against the bolt-action rifles. 
However, we have to keep in mind that the SVD has only 15 rounds compared to 20 for the others, and the QBU is special in that it only has 10 rounds. It has the least rounds out of any DMR. There must be a reason for that. And then when you look at the handling, it has the best handling or recoil in the DMR class. So perhaps this will be the most accurate despite it has half a point less accuracy. Maybe this recoil will make it even more effective at long range. Number six on the list is the SKS. I'm not gonna let my bias come into this. I'm just looking at the stats. Look at these stats. The SKS seems like it performs directly in the middle between those traditional five that I mentioned before and the Ace and Scar. So what this means is hopefully that it will still be an effective weapon. We'll have semi-high rate of fire, but we don't know that yet until we can see the official stats. But from what it looks like, it looks like it's a good in-between weapon. Slightly stable, it has good damage, only one point less and you know it has decent accuracy it's only one point or one and a half points less than the traditional dmrs it is still have a decent hip fire and the range though i'm a little bit worried it's a little bit weak but as well the recoil is not bad it has the second best recoil in there and it has again 20 rounds so i think this gun could be effective and i will have to try it out in the beta and let you know Next up is the Ace 53 SV. That SV stands for Sniper Variant, as well as the SCAR. The SCAR H is a Sniper Variant. What this is, is basically another modified version of the Ace. There are like five of these in the game, so get used to it. This gun seems to be, you know, looking at the stats, it has good damage. It has decent accuracy. It has in the middle mobility or hip fire. Its range is good. Uh, the recoil is the same as the others besides the QBU and the SKS and it has 20 rounds. So again, it's hard to judge how this weapon performs without actually seeing, again, its rate of fire and reload times. But if you look at it here, yeah, it looks worse than the traditional rifles, but you have to test it out in game. And last up is the SCAR HSV, which stands for the Heavy Sniper Variant. This performs very similar to the ACE, and yet you can see that it has two stats which are less, half a click less in accuracy and half a click less in mobility. So, well, there must be a reason for that or to balance out the weapon, they're probably going to have it a little bit faster rate of fire or a little bit better reload time. We'll have to see how the weapon works. So keep in mind, these are the official stats from DICE, but these are from the late, late alpha stage. I will be testing all these DMRs out in the beta, recording footage and putting them up for you. So make sure to look out for each of these weapons highlighted in my DMR section on Battlefield 4 videos. All right, guys, if you have any questions other than what I've talked about, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see in my coverage of the DMRs in the beta. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Kuzu Ranger. Boo.